If you've shopped to Amazon.com, for example, you may have noticed Facebook knows what you're putting into your Amazon shopping cart. Your personal habits and information seem to be the top prize. And recent scandals prove things may not be as secure as you'd like. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson tells us how many of you are now changing your Facebook habits. And he explains steps that you can take on your own to protect yourself. You've seen the headlines. Top executives from social media platforms get grilled on Capitol Hill being asked questions about security issues, including the one that may have compromised the personal data of most of Facebook's 2 billion users. Consumer Reports found these scandals are just too close for comfort for a lot of Facebook users. If months of reading about deceitful quiz apps, political meddling by Russian bots, and unchecked data collection have you rethinking your relationship with Facebook, you're not alone. A recent Consumer Reports survey finds that 7 out of 10 Facebook users changed their behavior after the Cambridge Analytica scandal. More than one in three became more cautious about their posts, revised privacy settings, and turned off location tracking. Still concerned about Facebook collecting your data? Consumer Reports recommends you take a few additional steps. You can turn off location tracking, you can turn off facial recognition, and you can turn on two-factor authentication. That's when your account requests a second bit of information, like a code sent to your phone before allowing you to log in. What did the survey find about fake news on Facebook? More than half of users say they read news on Facebook that they initially thought was true, but later realized it was not. So with all the concerns, Consumer Reports found people are sticking with Facebook for pretty basic reasons. It's the easiest way to stay connected with people. And 32% say it's the best way to remember birthdays. Even with these concerns, Consumer Reports found people still want Facebook to be free. Nine out of ten are not willing to pay a fee to stop Facebook from collecting their data. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.